Hello and welcome back to Crafty Learns Java programming or oh, programming in Java. We can both say both ways. So that was our first lesson. I hope you saw the little addendum that I did to do this probably. So now we're going to talk, as I said, about um, a bit about objects. Now I'm just going to do something quickly here. I want a new folder. And I'm going to call it notes. Not note. Notes. You can add folders to your thing, and it also you can add files. So these are you. Can, so I'm going to put notes. Dot txt text file, and I've got a text file here. So we're just going to do, add that to help us thing to talk about uh, object oriented. So for example. In our first lesson, let's have a look. We just wanted to show you all the size, all the different uh, data types, and we did that. And we wanted to show you a method, yes. And with that addendum, please watch it. It's, uh, just the third one, but two B, or oh, not two B. We showed you how to create an object and then call, a uh, call, or use. Hear that word call? Use a uh, method. So we're going to try and explain this a bit better because I think you have to get this grasp this first, you know. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new class, I think. So remember, we can right click here. We can we can do one here, for example. We can go up here and do one. Any way you want. Any way you want. Let's do this way. And let's call it um, math class. Oh. Math lesson better because we're gonna do. There we go. So we've got our basic math lesson. So we're gonna do some maths, but we're also gonna do it printing. Then I'm gonna create another one, another class called uh, Mean. No, no, no. Let's just get delete that. I'm, that was an error. Sorry about that. Okay, let's do it again. New class, and now here you can just click this, and it adds that argument that you need, the start argument. Uh, it's quite good. Um, so we're just going to call that main. So it's not. The, and there you go. You got it all. You don't need. You can get rid of this stuff because it's just there. Uh, so anytime we want to start something, we're just gonna use this as our instead of having it in each thingy. So let's go to our maths lesson. We can get rid of that. And what are we gonna do? Well, we've got to look at some basic stuff as well. So we're gonna look at some like operators. So what I want to do is do some methods that print out some basic maths. <laughs> As simple as that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create some variables. So for example, int, and I'm going to start using this public int. Usually, when you put public, it means it's visible to most things here inside here, in the package and other packages. Um, visibility it just means you can use it. <laughs> It's a bit stupid. Let's put probably in the number one. Now, instead of writing, going to repeat public int number two, what we can do is put, oh, oh follow the conventions. Number two. And we've got, we can add two things like that, which is not too bad. Okay, and so we've got two numbers, and we haven't assigned any value to them. Okay, so that's uh, that's the important thing. Now we're going to do some, for example, some methods. So usually you start your method with we're going to start with public because uh, until we there are other ways you can do it, but it's not important now. 
uh, I, I know I shouldn't say that, but uh, it, it will. You need to get. I think you need to get a bit more advanced because I'm not too sure about it either. I just know that if you can put this void, is means. And how I read about this, when we have void, there's two types of methods. Ones that return something and ones that don't. Now, for example, if you do, if you want a specific calculation done, you have to return something. But if you just want to do something, it's like an action pure and simple, we just do it like this. So we, what, what we would call it, add to by two. <laughs> pretty simple and we close it with the brackets there we go so what we want to do so we'll have to let's get a, another one let's see int sum this is just a uh, okay so we're going to put number one now I have done control and space to get that at number one equals let's see a two because we're doing two number two control space remember equals two so what we're gonna do is add them up so we're gonna say the sum equals number one plus number two oh. did, did that completely wrong let's see if we'll get it there yeah number control space again I'm gonna try to get that in you and we're gonna do the system out the print out now remember the shortcut and sum and that's it that's our add two by two so what have we done We've created a little variable in here that's only useful in this method. So we've got number one, number two here, and it's equal to two. So we say the sum is equal to number one plus number two, and then we're going to print out the sum. So we're going to go to our main, and we're going to create a math lesson object. Now this is what I wanted to do. So we're going to do math. And is it there? Math lesson. Yes. Lesson equals new math lesson. Oh, got that completely wrong. Let's see if it all completes math lesson. There we go. Control space. Remember. So what we have at the minute is lesson, and we need to use the method. So we put the dot. And there's our method add two by two. Now I use a lot of the shortcuts because I'm lazy. Now if, if we run this, did I not create one? Oh, you have to save it. <laughs> and we're going to print it and we'll get four. Okay, so we put, let's put a little string. Two plus two is and remember we have to put the add for the variable and if we print it out now two plus two is four so what we've created it this is an object let's say how, how we describe it best for me I have to tell you how I understand it and um, because otherwise uh, I don't like the way they do it it's called, let's put it here. I don't know if you can change, I don't know if you can change the font. I don't I know about that. So it's called object oriented programming. This is what we're doing. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Oriented, have I? What's oh, shit. How was Orien? They've got me confused now. 
That's not right. Oriented. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Object oriented program. So, what you do, this is how to understand it. Well, this is how I understand it. You can understand it a different way. They call them objects, and that's not entirely true. When you think of an object, what you do is you think of something concrete, and that it's a bit tricky. And this is not the case. Because for doing, for example, a math lesson is not a concrete object; it's more of an abstract thing. And uh, so, what we did is we created two numbers and an abstract method to add these two numbers together. Now, when we go to our main, what we had to do was we had to tell them what object we want to create. We name it as a variable, and we have to say it's a new object. So once that's done, it's created something. Something exists. It's not just a blueprint anymore. And we have our variable, and then we use the method that we created. So there you go. So it's simple as that. So but. When you think of object, they, they, they want to give you lots of strange things. So, for example, we could say, for example, let's do something. Living creatures. Right? Now, this is a very broad uh, example. It's very abstract. Right? And it's not really a blueprint. What? Oh, the only th thing you can really do is say something that is alive. So living creatures, and then maybe you could uh, do the genus, for example, let's say the genus, the genus. But that still doesn't describe it completely. So these two together that help describe things. Until we start to, for example, let's talk about uh, I don't know the type of genesis plant. Let's just see. I'm not a animal, for example. And then if we want to go down more to animal, we can say ape. I don't know. Uh, cat. Ape. So this is it's a certain hierarchy. So. If you're going to program this, each one of these, I mean, they would call living creatures an object. It's not strictly an object. You'd never use that as an object. The genus, not really an object. It's more of a description. Plant, plant is a description as well. Animal is a description. Cat, it's not an object. It's a description. Ape is an object. If we go down from ape to person, person still. <laughs> Not a specifically an object, you see. So I think I like to look at these as a um, not object, but something. Now it could be an idea, it could be as we see here, a living creature. It could be the genus, the plant, the animal, then the cat, then the ape. Then we go further and further down, and we make it more and more concrete until we have, for example, Jeremy, blah blah blah, blah. and he is a specific thing who's got all these characteristics and that to me sounds more like uh, how you would describe object orientated now I might be wrong I don't know but this is how I like to look at it um, so anyway so we've got that so when we create a class they say we create a blueprint now a blueprint is a very it's a stupid word to use, to be honest, because when you think of a blueprint, we think of a, of a blue piece of paper with a, a picture of a house or a building in white lines, and that's not necessarily true. So, for example, uh, if I go back to our notes, if I created a blueprint of a living creature, um, okay, I've got this blueprint, but then uh, uh, I make another blueprint of a genus, the genus, and then, the, for example, the animal, and then the cat, and then the ape. You, you've got 15 million blueprints, <laughs> all to make up it, and 
it's not exactly true. So when you get down to Jeremy, blah, 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 he's the, the concrete thing, the object made up by all these. So, and he's still a thing. This is a thing. So I like to think it was thingy, thingy object oriented program. So it wouldn't be another word, but uh, I'm sure it would be easy. So when we're creating this math lesson, we're creating an object to, uh, to show how to add two by, or to show add two by two. So let's, for example, let's copy this. And let's just, we're gonna show you another, no, okay, yeah. times two by two. So instead of saying, we've got, we have these operators, these mathematical operators, and the times is that, two, and we're gonna go two times two is, mm, now, when we go back to our main, we have to add this, so lesson, we're going to do add, uh, what we call, times 2 by 2, and if we print that out, two times two is four. <laughs> well, let's 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 pick some of the ones there. Let's pick um, four instead, so we're not working with. That was a bit of a silly example. Let's see what happens here. Oh, I have to change that. And I always add the semicolon. Save that. Let's see what happens here. Oh, look. 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 times 2. Oh shit, we forgot to change that. <laughs> oh well, these are just silly little errors though. That's nothing, yeah, nothing big. Four. So we're doing examples here. For example, we can do another one. Let's just copy that. Take that off and put four divided. So we're going to change this to the division. And we're going to add that. Let's just copy it instead. And the lesson does not have three S's. Let's see what it does. <laughs> four divided by four is one. Hmm. So we've got all these, so we've got plus things, divide, times, you can also, well, we'll put, we'll do the traditional one, minus, so it'll be a minus as well. We're doing these very quickly because it's just basic maths, and we'll stick it uh, here. Now you could add all this. Well, it's, oh, that's what, what, what. Let's might do that at the end. Minus. What? What did I call it? Lesson. Oh, I can't spell lesson. That's the problem. Minus two by two. Oh. Look at the keyboard. Look at the keyboard. <laughs> there you go. So two minus two by two, so two minus two is zero. So these are the little math operators we can use. There's one more, um, which is called the modulus. And this, this is the most difficult for me. When we have divided, for example, let's do, a, let's do this one. But I want five. Now the modulus is the percent sign, right? Now it should be the remainder of four divided by 
how is it? Pi. Pi divided by 4. And let's check this out. Um, we'll have to add it. And we'll run it. A remainder of 5 divided by 4. So I've done something wrong there. Ah, oh, yeah. I didn't change it. Let's try that again. It's 1. So it goes into 1. The modulus. This, for example. We know 4. Where is it? Oh, 4 divided. I keep forgetting to change it. Silly. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So why is the remainder of 5 divided by 4 is 1? So that's what you have left. So there's 1 4 in there, and there's 1 left over. This is this is the modulus of the remainder, I suppose is how you look at it. So these are the basic operations. Now, there we go. We've got four, is it four methods, five methods. Now that's a bit bulk, isn't it, here? So what we're going to do is we're going to well, we're going to cut this and we're going to create a new method public void a uh, print everything like we did in the last one. Oh, come on, move down a bit. So I just take that and I'll take off the lesson bit because we don't need that, do we? Because we, when you call a method in the same class, you don't need to add anything. You just put it, the, the method with the with the parentheses and always the semicolon. Now, okay. So, and I can get the same effect. Yeah. Oh. Gotta get typing lessons. Then we get the same effect there, you see. Now this is a stupid example, I know, I know. It's a good example of methods. It's a good example of these operators that you'll use. Now you can do complicated uh, problems. I don't know. The one I always see is calculating the, the body mass index. Maybe we'll do a side lesson to show you how to do that. I don't know. I'll have to have a look and see if you have to learn some things first before that. But this is basically it. I don't think creating methods are too difficult. For one thing. Um, it's no, and I don't think calling them, for example, in the main, we had to create, we had to say, this object I want, now I'm going to call it lesson. So create it, make it a new one. And then we got this, we use the uh, variable and we want to use the method. So we put the dot and print everything, which is this. Okay. Now in this, we've added the methods by just writing the method with the parentheses and the semicolon always, because we don't we're inside the actual uh, class. Oh, okay, the column classes. I don't know why the column classes. It really annoys me that because I come from a philosophy philosophical background, and the classes. Uh, how would you describe a class easily? It's like a category of things, a class of a class of uh, uh, the people, for example, Asians or Europeans, a class of vegetables. You know, I think they were trying to incorporate this idea of the classes, but unfortunately, it's inherently uh, illogical because uh, <laughs> it's what, what is it? Is it's uh, philosopher, I forgot his name now. Oh God. Uh, oh, what was the name of the philosopher? Russell, somebody. Bertrand Russell. That was his name. 
of the paradox of the class that has no class <laughs> is also a class. <laughs> Something like that anyway. But uh, I'm rambling now. So uh, what I wanted to show here, now let's, let's, let's make a little resume. Resume. Summary. I think I'm talking in another language now. Sorry. I tend to speak in Spanish sometimes. Forgive me for that. Let me say resume. Resuming. Sorry. Resuming. Oh, God. My wife will kill me. Um, what we wanted to show is we wanted to create an object called a math lesson. I mean, look, this is our lesson. Okay. It's giving you, well, we've printed it out. It's telling you some simple things for two plus two is four. Oh, I've written that wrong as well. Two minus. So what you do is copy and paste. And, and two minus two is zero. Four times four is sixteen. Four divided oh. <laughs> by four. And the remainder of five divided by four is one. So these are your basic mathematical operators. Uh, and you'll use these a lot. Um, so, and the more complicated the sums, the difficult it gets. So a good piece of advice is to start learning mathematics. Uh, I think I might do a, a little thing on refreshing mine as well, because mine's terrible, but maybe in a different way. And then we took all these methods and put them all into one method. So we used the method to use it. Sorry, there's a friggin' dog in the background there. And we used the method by just writing it with a parenthesis because it's in the same class. If we went from a different one, we would have to do it this way. Uh, we'd have to create an object and thing. Uh, and then do the dot and use it. I'm not gonna, uh, I hate saying call, so I won't say call, but I have to say it. So the lesson calls this or uses it, and that should be it. So maybe this is a bit disjointed. Uh, I'm sorry, but this is how I learn. I don't learn one, two, three, four. I learn one, 150. <laughs> it's my way of learning. You know, some people, I think by the third lesson, they're still in the main, showing how to do uh, uh, two by two, you know, doing the basic maths and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I want to get into learning how to do methods and working with uh, variables and with um, data types as soon as possible. And we just, we've done that right. So hopefully this little didn't confuse you too much an object basically is just a description of something okay so for example this is a description of a math lesson all right now by itself it doesn't do anything but when we create the object and use uh, one of the methods which uses all of the other methods you have something here and this is a representation of that object of that math lesson so I hope that makes some sense maybe it's a bit disjointed as I say but it's how my mind works I'm afraid um, but you know, on the third lesson you have doing methods you know how to do variables you know how to print out and and know how to look at this you know how to take a variable inside here and assign it to this so you learn it's just basic uh, how is it what do you call it algebra so x y no z equals x plus x minus y for example <laughs> that's the basic thing of it it's not too difficult okay so i'm going to leave it there and if I make, if I'm going to review it, and if I find a mistake, I'll, I'll do another uh, video amendment. I hope I haven't. I always review the classes, and if I make a mistake, I'll I'll do something to describe it better. So, well, thank you very much, and I hope you have a a good one. I'm sure you will. We'll see you next time. Bye.